the cutscene. You just can't deny. It's just so amazing. The graphics are always. Oh, this is we're gonna choke about. Sid. I think it is. I think this is it. Oh, Clive. Oh, not dude, Sid's alive. Hurt your hand. How did I? With a thousand little lightning bolts. Dang. Can't fling them around the way I used to. Think of it as my decoration for long service and exemplary misconduct. But you didn't come here to compare war wounds. We didn't. Thank Duh. you, Sid. For everything. <laughs> Wait, are we parting ways? If you wanna leave, no way. I'm sure you'll have a long and happy life together if you stay out of my way. Sid! <laughs> oh. I knew a girl back in the day. She was a slave to her fate, just like you. Wanted to save her. For a while, I even thought I could. But just because you think something doesn't make it true. Unfortunately, that's the truth. I'm no savior. Just a conceited old fool. I talk about people forging their own futures. But instead of handing them the hammer, I beat them with my own. And if no bugger wants to listen to what you've got to say, you might as well keep your gob shut. But Clive, I will say this. You're not a monster. You're the same man you've always been. Accept that, and you may yet escape your fate. My fate? Look, lad, you've had a hard life. And I don't see it getting much easier. You might not be able to save anyone else. But at the very least, you can save yourself. <laughs> Try. Jill. I'm sorry we didn't get a chance to talk, but I trust you'll take good care of the boy. Yes, I will. Is that the last of it? Aye. We'd best head back then. Wouldn't want to keep Nan waiting. All right, new quest available nearby. Make for East Pool still. And wait a second, wait, 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 wait. Let's just double check the chocobo. Or uh, maybe we don't have chocobo. Still. Okay, open world map. We should be able to fast travel. Maybe I'm just getting lazy. 500 yards seems like a lot, but eh, maybe it's not. But yeah, I, you know, I hate to complain again, but still like the motion blur is just, it's, it's so off putting. I don't understand why games would include, include that kind of system. Let me make sure I have it on the right. Yeah, frame rate. Very, uh, very interesting. But nonetheless, cinematics are amazing and we are getting up there in level. We have 1300 HP. 
level 20, Wishing about to well, level 19, about to hit level 20. I dare say we'll be seeing a few along the way. Then we shall have to keep our wits about us. Definitely gotten a more or open world vibe here. Late here, let's go ahead and uh, fry these guys. There it is, level twenty. Oh, we're getting we're getting three of each point now. Here's a side quest. We're gonna go through and do a side quest as we beat the main storyline. I do want 100% this game. Let's see if I can just get, grab them all. Come here, Mr. Guy. Come here. Okay, he's just dreaming about dreaming. Wait, does she even just do her thing? Oh my gosh. Ow. Come on, man. Oh my gosh, it's so disgusting. Okay, so there's a range limiter to this. Come back here, bro. What are you doing? I don't know how I missed my attack. I'll be honest. That was that was a little strange. Be I'm more worried about these glowy things right here than those windmills. See, someone's got to look out for our health. All I did was touch you. Relax. That's what you get. That's what you get right there. Remember your place in the food chain. It's definitely under me. I remember coming here with Lord Murdoch when I was young. This area seemed a very different place back then. Quiet, isn't it? Yes. You! You're Clive Rossfield. Wait, who's talking? Okay. It's me, Hannah, Rodney Murdoch's wife. Lady Hannah. Oh, I knew it was you. You haven't changed at all. The Lord Marquis and Jill, too. It's so good to see you both again. It's good to see you too. So how many years? It was 13 years, I think. <laughs> if you have time, you simply must come back to the house. I haven't much to offer, but what is mine is yours. We should be delighted. And you have been wandering the world ever since. I can well understand fleeing from those iron blood brutes, but oh, to take to the road at such a tender age, It's wonderful to see you safe and well, Lady Hannah. <sighs> D 
do you think you will stay here in Eastpool? Rosaleth still enjoys the Mother Crystal's blessing, does it not? You could always move. This house holds a lot of memories for me. So long as I can live here in peace, here I shall stay. Not that it matters. The capital is closed to civilians, by order of the Duchess. Or should I say, Her Imperial Majesty. Annabella's marriage to the Emperor of Sambrec heralded a great many changes here. Yes. Of course. Oh, forgive me. I... I didn't mean to... Oh. Please. There is nothing to forgive. Would my mother not make an exception for you and your husband? Surely she would not refuse the Lord Commander. Oh. You haven't heard, then. Rodney passed away on the night of the fire. He never returned from Phoenix Gate. Clive. My poor child, you look pale. All this traveling must have taken its toll. I insist you rest. We can talk later. Hmm? Are you sure you don't want to sleep inside? I can't. Not after what I did. Lady Hannah said she would prepare a change of clothes for you in the morning. She really has been very kind. Thirteen years of killing. Thirteen years without the faintest glimmer of hope. Did his voice just change? It was only Joshua that kept me going. Wait a second, wait. I swore that I would avenge his death. I mean, we haven't heard... I would kill his killer. That was the only thing that gave my life any meaning. But if it was me who killed Joshua and Murdoch and all the others, then why the hell am I still breathing? I ask myself the same. <laughs> when I fought, Hundreds died. There were so many bodies. So many lives cut short in their prime. That day in Dalmechia, I... I wanted to join them. I wanted it all to end. I couldn't bear it anymore. If living meant being that, better to be just another body. on the balcony when we looked up at the moon I said a prayer to Metia and that prayer was answered you came back to me the heavens must have a plan for us Go with your move, brother. Come on, man. Uh, 
Oh, he hesitated. We should no. get some rest. Right. That's where you messed up. Good night, Clive. Sleep well. Thank you, Lady Anna. Perhaps now people will not flee at the sight of me. You look just like Elwyn did when he was your age. How did you come to have some of my father's old clothes? Oh, before Elwyn became Archduke, our families would often summer together. He and Rodney were like brothers. These clothes have been in a wardrobe for years, collecting cobwebs along with everything else. Very grateful for them. And sorry for depriving you of your memories. Not at all. It's what your father would have wanted. They suit you well. <laughs> thank you, Lady Hannah. Yes, thank you. You've been most kind. No, I should thank you. It may only have been for a short while. But seeing you again took me back to happier times. Fare you well, my lord and lady. And you, Lady Hannah. Follow the road to the north. It should take us all the way to Phoenix Gate. Let's go. Wait a second. Hmm. Why do I feel like I got a new sash for my sword? It looks different. Or I got a new sword. Maybe that's what's throwing it off. I hope I can just walk out this door. No, I'll have to go around, go up a mountain, some weird thing. So I was doing some reading and they said that some you. soon patches. So sorry, hopefully, no. really soon. They're going to try to remove the motion blur because they did not test this game. Clive Rosfield. You're mistaken. Oh, you can't fool me, my lord. You're the very image of your father. And that would be true even if you weren't wearing his clothes. The self-same garments Hannah was keeping for you, if I'm not mistaken. She always swore that she would never part with them until the day Elwyn's sons returned. And now that day has come. <laughs> Why, you'll be able to take your bearers back as well. My bearers. Well, that's why the sword shot, I think it's a sash, sash, whatever it is, it, it was with the clothing. Makes sense. Forgive me, Master Mayor. I was a child when last I came to Eastport. I didn't recognize you. Oh, I'd be surprised if you recognized anything at all. Much has changed since Rosaria fell to the Empire. Not least for the bearers who once served her noble families. When the Iron Blood sacked Rosalith 13 years back, many who lost their masters fled here in search of sanctuary. And never returned. Aye. The plan was to send them home once we'd won back the capital. But then the Imperials arrived. Rosaria became a province of San Brec. The duchy was dissolved and they no longer had any home to return to. Back in your father's day, any bearer who lost their master became a ward of the duchy. We'd hand them over to the sheriffs, and they'd be assigned a new position. But when we saw how the Empire treated their branded, we knew that wasn't an option. So they've been here ever since. And now you want to give them to me? 
They're yours by right, Lord Rosfield. Bequeathed you by your late father. And they'd be better off serving you than hiding here. Indeed, many of them used to serve your house, and still consider the Rosfields their masters. I'm no one's master. Not anymore. They wouldn't be safe with me. I understand. You'll forgive an old man his fanciful notions. Been daydreaming for too long. But still, I would ask a favor of you. A small mercy. If it is within my power. One of the bearers is an elderly fellow who still swears absolute loyalty to Archduke Elwyn. I don't ask that you take him into your service, only that you meet with him. Let him see that Elwyn's son still lives, and that he's as fine a man as his father ever was. It would be my honor. Thank you, my lord. He sits by the well most days, watching the people go about their business. If you could show him your face, I would be most grateful. <laughs> as fine a man as my father. You're not so very different, you know. Especially dressed like that. Come on, let's go and meet that bearer. He's not here. Well, I can't leave without meeting him. I've let the mayor down once already. It would be cruel to disappoint him again. Right, let's ask around. Someone must have seen him. Good day, milady. What can I do for you? I'm looking for a bearer. An elderly fellow who used to serve the Rosfields. Have you seen him? Ah, that old loon. No, no sign of him today. Funny, he's usually down by the well at this hour, cooking up his fantasy feasts. I'm sorry? Oh, he worked in the kitchens at Rosalith Castle back in the day. Still thinks he's there now. <laughs> You'd often hear the poor fool chatting away to the Archduke. Living in a dream, he is. But better there than here, I suppose. Can't imagine the Viceregan stopping to trade tales with a bearer. Can you? No. Anyway, you'll be round here somewhere. Doubt he has the puff to stray too far. Thank you. We'll keep looking. Well now, unfamiliar faces. What brings you to East Ball, travelers? We're looking for an elderly bearer. You wouldn't happen to have seen him, would you? Ah, you mean the old boy who always waits by the well? Yes, that's him. What, uh, what business do you have with him, if you don't mind me asking? You're not from the capital too, are you? We are. In a way. Well, then it's a pleasure to meet a fellow Rosalithian. I was born and raised down Market Street. And never would have left if Archduke Elwyn had survived the fire. It wasn't the same when the Duchess took over, though. All the beatings, the evictions, the levies going up and up and up, even as the blight took half the harvest. Oh, listen to me, telling you what you already know. I'm sorry. I'm afraid I can't help you with your bearer either, though I doubt he'll have gone far. He comes here every day, almost as if he's waiting for something. We'll keep asking around then. Thank you. Oh, hold on a mo. Patrick the Chocobo Keeper might know where your bearer is. He's taken the old boy under his wing, so to speak. You should go and have a word with him. He'll be in the stables. Patrick the Chocobo Keeper. Thank you. We will. 
feel like we're getting closer. I'm sorry, Jill. For making you do all this in my stead. It can't be helped if we're to keep up the pretense. Come on, let's head for the stables. How's he got to? Excuse me, but is something the matter? It's this bearer I've been minding. I take my eyes off him for one minute and he disappears. He's not in his usual spot by the well, nor anywhere else in the village. You must be Patrick. I am, but... And this bearer you're looking for... He's an elderly man who used to work in the Rosalith Castle kitchens, yes? That's the fella. How do you know all this? I've never seen you in Eastpool before, but you seem to know the place better than I do myself. You see? This is my home. So that's how it is. Well then, if you're acting under orders of the mayor, you're on about to help me find him. He's been losing what little sense he had left of late, saying the sheriffs are coming to collect him and that he needs to go back to the castle. I was supposed to watch over him, keep him out of trouble. But if he's walked out on us, there's not a lot I can do. Understood. You keep searching here. We'll look for him outside. Thank you. I'm in your debt. I hope he hasn't wandered into trouble. Let's just concentrate on finding him. Imagine why these game issues would have been fixed with the beta. It's really not, I mean, it's not too bad. It's just when you move it fast, it's like, okay. I've been gaming for a long time. I've never had motion blur give me headaches like this before. Look, there's someone over there. It might be him. We should hurry. Every time there's a guy at the edge of a cliff, he turns bad. Every single can't time. Leave. Oh, weird. We can't lead them to the old man. They need to die. Agreed. We have so much money. There's got to be something to buy eventually. We're just too rich to not. Or maybe Chocobo would probably cost like 50 grand. Or those dumbass songs. Are you all right, my friend? Come on. Let's go home. Your grace. You came for me. I waited for you so long. But you finally came. I'm not who you think. Life. Yes. Pray forgive my long delay. It's nothing, Your Grace. I prayed to the founder that you would come, and at long last, he answered. Be returning to the castle then? There is still a place for me in the kitchens? No, my friend. 
We will not be returning to the castle, not yet. I'm on a very important expedition, one which may take some time. Could you wait for me in Eastpool until my journey is complete? I will come back for you then. I promise. Of course, Your Grace. For you, I would gladly wait until my dying day. Thank you, both of you. You've been most kind. The memory of serving the late Archduke was as one light in the darkness. And now that light burns a little more brightly. It's nothing but a fantasy, of course. But it's better than the truth of the matter. A damn sight better. The blight is on our doorstep. Our harvests are failing. The people are leaving in droves. If it weren't for Lady Hannah selling half her worldly goods to provide for the few of us who stayed behind, we would long since have starved. We want to keep the bearers safe here, we really do. But unless a miracle happens, we won't be able to spare a crust of bread to share between them soon enough. Is it really that bad? So bad, I even petitioned the Imperial Garrison to take them. But when they found out where they'd come from, they damn near spat in our faces. Ducal dogs, they called them. Enemies of the Empire. I know a man named Sid, who would gladly give a home to any bearer in need of one. Leave this with me. As soon as I return from Phoenix Gate, I'll speak with him. Thank you, my lord. Will you be passing through Eastpool on your way back? I should very much like to speak with you again, if you have the time, regarding the future of the village, and what might be done for Lady Hannah. After all, she's done for us. Yes, of course. I'll be back anon. Fare you well, my lord, my lady. I wish you a safe journey. The Deadlands are aptly named. I didn't realize they were this close. No wonder their crops are failing. The blight is leaching the ether from Dang, the soil. This looks rough. When the last it's the first time seeing the blight. I wonder if there's different place. monsters here. I bet there is. No plants. No animals. No life. And no Jeez. monsters. Eh? I suppose that's one small mercy. I don't know about that one. We won't be able to use any magic here. Why? Another thing to worry about. As if the absence of ether didn't cause enough problems. Take away the lad's life force, and problems are all that's left. I don't know about the no monster thing. I can hardly imagine what this place used to look like before the blight took it. I remember. It was beautiful. Dang. Insufficient. Oh my gosh, not again. I at least let me but maybe i haven't gotten far enough maybe i'm not paying attention but bigger bags for more potions would be cool that seems like it'd be a huge winner there it is phoenix gate where it all went wrong come on clive It's time to discover the truth.
almost as if time had stood still. I suppose no one had any cause to return here. No. It's just as I left it. Could you imagine going back home after 13 years and it just completely being gone? Could anyone? I still don't think he did it. I don't know how, but I just don't think he's the one. Bet it is. Oh, called it. That's him. He's the only one who can tell me what happened. I have to know. What if it's like a, what if he's like a time traveler? I, part of me thinks it's his brother, even though his, I don't, I don't know. We're about to find out. I know that much. Where is he? Nowhere to be seen. Damn it! He's like a bloody eel. What is this place anyway? Some sort of shrine? Oh, sorry. You've never been here before. This is the Hall of the Gate. The Gate? It's a relic of the Fallen. Only the Phoenix's dominant can open it. Hence the castle's name. This was where Joshua was supposed to... Yes. He would have stepped through this door the next morning and listened to the words of our ancestors. Would you have gone with him? No. The apodotry is holy ground. None but the dominant may enter. I and the other shields would have stood guard here and prayed for my brother's safe return. Where the hell did he go? Perhaps he went inside. He couldn't have. I mean... He'd need the power of the phoenix. Or a dominant power. She can probably go in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's clicking now, huh? Oh, I didn't think about him. Because he is a dominant now, I think. And he does have Phoenix inside. Oh, oh, oh. Are you sure about this? Yeah. Never more. All right, the Hall of the Ancestors. Another gate. Oh. Oh. Another guy. See if this one opens. Call it a ruin. It's perfect. 
like it was built yesterday. Have you ever seen anything like this? What if the pub ends up being a dominant? Time to fight new monsters. What do we do? I'm guessing it's a testing ground. out of it. Ow, bitch. Come on, man. Okay. That wasn't as hard as I thought it was. Some stuff over here, brother. Don't worry, I'm coming for you. Still function? How Wait. Any of this? this must be what the fallen ruins were like Look before at this. we Door do we go through? Well, I guess the only door. Oh, dumb question. All right. I always love how Final Fantasy was able to mix magic with technology with, I guess, ruins is what I'll call it. It's pretty dope. The scenery is definitely just gorgeous. Don't worry, I got something for you, bro. Oh, chat. get anything out of that or was it just for show was it a dud See what you're doing. Ah, dodge! No. Hey, this guy's kicking my ass. Oh my god. Okay, I'm trying to die. I'm trying to dodge him, but he's so slow.
wish I could combine potions to make a uh what? He just did it behind him to make a hyper potion. Oh my gosh, he keeps doing that. Does any of this make sense to you? None of this makes sense. Let's find the hooded man and leave. Another chest. If there's nothing in it, bro, I'm, I'm breaking this game. There we go. Okay, I got something. I got a, something of something. Let's not use fire on them. Okay, maybe I will. Just because. Like that's gonna one tap you if you get near it, so just step away. I pick that up. No, it's gone. Would Joshua have had to run this gauntlet too? No, at least not that I ever heard about. I imagine the Phoenix would receive a warmer welcome. Surrounded by contraptions hellbent on murdering us, I expect. Like our odds. Could the hooded man really have taken this path? We won't know until we've followed it all the way to the end. Come on, let's keep looking. He could if he's your brother.
like this. That looks dope. Um, or maybe not. Seems the feeling's mutual. All right, let's just get an eye for his movements. Just take a second to breathe. He looks like he just dies and does the same thing, so let's go ahead and kill him. Oh, there it is. Owie. Oh, he led that one. Insane, bro. right into that damn get up get up stack that's what i'm talking about No shit's given. Okay. That hurt. What am I doing? What is this move? What was I just doing? Look at that. That's cool. Yeah, Sheeble. Mess him up. Normally, whenever I hit circle, it just pulls him with that green move, but that time was having me do front flips. That's pretty dope. It's done. What are these creatures? And why do they keep attacking us? They're probably asking themselves the same thing. We're the ones trespassing here. They're just protecting their home. Jill, look. Is, is that, that some kind of mural? Mural? It's worth a closer look, whatever it is. We got a lot of these around here. Hold up. Wow. Damn, okay. Let's make a giant circle. What is this? Potion, potion. I don't know if I want to even waste my time with the potion. <laughs> there it is. I knew it. I knew it. Okay, we're about to have another boss fight. It's another arena. I feel like that's exactly what's about to go down.
Yeah, I'm getting that vibe. My guy. Okay. Ow. Ow. Oh. Don't worry, I got more for you. Okay, you can't hit me. Whoa. What did I just do? That was sick. Easy, easy. Garbage. Garbage. It would seem this place holds even more secrets than we thought. Yeah, I'm getting that vibe too. So, it isn't a dead end after all. Apparently not. Seems 
to lead to this room. And look what's in it. How old do you suppose this is? A thousand years? More? I don't know. I've never seen anything like it before. Who is that in the middle, do you think? Some sort of god. Second dominant of fire. Who are you? Is it him? Was I right about time traveling? Granted, I can't say I was right. I guess like nine things. Holy shit. Holy shit. There it is. this Joshua chose me to be his shield. He gave me his blessing and asked me to keep him safe. I should have protected him that day. It was my duty. Joshua died. I killed him. And I blamed another for what I did. To spare myself the guilt. I feared the Bai. Yeah, how, did you know? how did you know? How would you know? I would lose what little was left of me. So I ran. From everything. And now? Are you ready to accept the truth? I am. I know it won't be easy, but it's what I must do. So that Joshua's soul can finally rest in peace. Why? Like, if it was him, why would that? Why?
press on. Come, Ifrit. Show me who you truly are. All these years I thought it was Ifrit, not Ifrit. Oops. fight. I thought he just like hit me through this. Like I'm doing phase.
What the? Uh, bro, it wouldn't let me get out of his thing. When I was running down, it wouldn't. It just it wouldn't let me leave. I was like stuck in it. Well, that went from easy to hard real fast. Jesus, hey, man. Let me learn by example. So that's a one hitter quitter. It can somehow got avoid it with our imagination. I guess I don't know. Come get some. Okay. Oh, you see what I'm saying? You do just magically just vanish through it. See if we can do this. Now watch, I'm gonna explain it. See how I can't like run back anymore? Oh no. And it like spreads to okay. It's just temporary, never mind. That was that's weird, but okay. Think about it. Oh, fire. Literally. Let's go. Show yourself, you freeze.
truth of it now. You are not afraid. I am. That was sick and confusing. So how does that fall into place? How does that even make sense? Clive, are you all right? Man, the final right. Jill. It's nothing. I'll be fine. Chasing shadows. The hooded man isn't here. We should go. Clive, are you sure you're all right? Whatever it is, you can tell me. <laughs> I had a hard enough time telling myself. I awakened as a dominant of fire, right here in this castle, and I've been running from it ever since. But now I know for certain who I really am. The second icon of fire, who killed my brother and burned this castle to the ground, was me, Ifrit. Clive. How? It was accepted. So many lives that night. Without understanding. And destroyed so many more, including yours. And I must atone for the crimes I've committed. But not before I learn the whole truth. How can a second icon of fire even exist? And why was I chosen as its dominant? Who is the hooded man who brought us here? And what does he want? I need to know. 
And since I'm still breathing, I might as well make myself useful. We'll find your answers together. I want to learn the truth too. There'll be time enough for atonement when we're done. I was hoping you'd say that. I don't think I could do this without you. You never were one to hide from the truth. Even when we were young. And you haven't changed a bit. You're wrong. I have changed. But I don't want to be that person anymore. The things she did were unforgivable. what brought us back together. Thank you, Jill. If he is here, then... The disturbance I felt at the care must have been... Confounded. The hour is later than I thought. I forgot all about these guys. It's been so long since we've seen this dude. Literally, I think episode one. Tell me who did this, or I'll see you suffer the same fate. The man who delivered, who, who delivered the coffer said, he said Sid paid him. was emotional. Holy crap. I mean, I've broken some things in my time from gaming especially, but damn. Damn. He's about to lose it again. You can see it. You can see it building. All right, that seems like a good time to end this episode. Look, we will be catching up with what the hell is going on in the next one. And this was a this was a very, I mean, this, let's just be honest. This whole game has been cutscene. Ninety percent of it's cutscenes, but I'm not hating at all. I'm vibing with it. Um, hell of a story. Wait, 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 wait. What is this? Oh, same problem to Infrares. Oh, you can. I mean, Infrares. Let's go. All right, cool. I like hitting so these buttons here. So, guys, thank y'all for watching, um, and catch me in the next one, man.